And to talk about the essence of this year's Christmas celebration, we are being joined live from Abuja by Emeritus Archbishop of Abuja, John Cardinal Onaiko. A pleasure having you with us and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And how does it feel celebrating this year's Christmas, knowing fully well the last year, the world was basically in the lockdown, but today at least we can abide by COVID-19 safety protocols while gathering physically? Well, this is one of the, es es one of the essence of uh, Christmas, that there is always a hope for the better. God sent Jesus into this world so as to give us hope. And we can never despair because God is never tired of looking after us. Now, we have gone through rather hard times in our country in the last year. It is just as well that Christmas comes to give us a sense of joy, a sense of faith in God, a sense of hope in God. And we hope this faith and hope will also lead to charity, meaning love for one another, keeping one another's ideas being in solidarity with each other. We should stop dividing ourselves because God did not divide us. As we listen to the way Christmas is being celebrated all over Nigeria, there is a common sound, there is a common voice, there is a common music that Christmas is a time to remind us of what Jesus means. Now, Jesus means different things to different people, but there is one basic common ground that Jesus means, comes, means goodness, means compassion, means love. And those who claim to be Christians are even more expected to live according to Christian values. But every Christian knows that Christian values are not just for Christians alone, because Christian values are God-given human values. Now, let's talk about these values. Everybody loves love. Now, let's talk about these values. Beyond having a faith, hope, yeah and love, what should Christians reflect on as yes. we celebrate? Well, I, I, I purposely brought out those three values, faith, hope, and charity. We are used to that in my church. They are called the theological virtues. The three are interconnected. <clears throat> faith is that you really believe in God well beyond verbal declarations and proclamations. It must mean that we sincerely believe in the reality of God. If you really believe God is real, then his reality must influence our lives. We cannot go around doing whatever we like as if God does not exist. Or oh, as if God doesn't care. Secondly, if you believe seriously in God, then you must have hope. Especially in times of crisis and difficulties. We are able to say, this is not the end of the story. God has not finished with me yet. <laughs> and we can say the same of our country, Nigeria. No matter how, how difficult we think things are, we must raise our hope high. Because God does not abandon his people. It is my own strong conviction that everyone is God's people. 
whether you are Christian or Muslim, God abans abandons no one. Especially in a country like Nigeria, where we all at least make an outward appearance of praying. Then comes the third one, which is the greatest. Because your faith is useless and your hope is empty if there is no love. Love of God, which must be expressed in love of neighbor. Neighbor is everybody. Anybody you meet. But especially those who are most in need. Today, Christmas, I thought about those who are wondering, why are we celebrating? There are those who are in the hospital. I visited two hospitals this afternoon. I told them, Happy Christmas. And they replied, Thank you. I went to the prison, Kuje prison. We, sp we spent two hours together with the prisoners, singing and dancing. And when I told them that the correctional home is not only for you, that all of us need to be corrected, there was a smile on their face. Because they see that we need to really be one another's keeper. I beg Nigerians, we are not all bandits. We are not all kidnappers. We are not all terrorists. These bandits, these bandits, terrorists, and kidnappers are a tiny minority. Let all of us, the rest of us, join hands. Help one another. Okay. And let the government put us in a position to be able to liberate ourselves from this little minority that are making life impossible for the rest of us. Thank you so much. We really appreciate Christmas, you. Christmas, therefore, is an opportunity for us to be full of hope. Indeed, we will be full of hope. Happy as Christmas. Step. Merry Christmas, sir. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us, Emeritus Archbishop of Abuja, John Cardinal Onaiko, and have a Merry Christmas. And thank you for giving me the opportunity. God bless you all. A pleasure having you with us once again. Thank you.